Okay, you can start. Beautiful. Hello. Hello, everyone that is present here and watching on the live stream. My name is Ni and I am the World Woman Leading Change President for Australia. Thank you so much, Ayla, for giving me this opportunity to host the wellness conference, um, which will be happening every two weeks. I'll be uh, gathering wellness speakers from all around the world to just share their gift. A little bit about me before we start. So I'm currently living in Bali, Indonesia, and I am a meditation teacher, a mindfulness and inner peace coach. And I also have a um, company with uh, my dear, dear uh, mentor, Alex, where we provide healing technologies um, to support people's health and well-being. Hmm. Today, I have the honor and privilege to be hosting someone very, very dear to me. His name is Trung Lee, and he is the founder of Lighthouse for Men. And his role pretty much and his vision is to really support men in their journey. Hmm. He is one of the most loving and heart-centered people that I know so so amazing with what he does and what he shares very authentic and vulnerable and I feel like that is what the world continues to need um, you know moving forward just to really be able to express ourselves authentically while also empowering and impacting people um, so yeah that is from me. So today, um, I'll be asking Trung a series of questions. We'll be having a discussion. And afterwards, I will lead a meditation. Mm. So welcome, Trung. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here and sharing um, with everyone about what you do. So if you can start by sharing, just sharing about, you know, who you are and what it is that you do. Sure. Before I start, I just want to have a look at all your beautiful faces. <laughs> Everyone's off the screen, but that's okay. I feel you energetically. So before I start, I just want to acknowledge the land that I'm on the Wajodi land for the Colon people and also the ancestors, the elders and the spirits. But also I want to acknowledge Ni and Ella for giving me this opportunity to just share and be so grateful for you two for providing this space, but also acknowledging all you guys that turned up today. Thank you so much for your time and energy. So deep gratitude. Yeah, so a little bit about myself. Um, I am currently in a space of creating a safe haven for men to allow them to explore their relationship, explore themselves. And it kind of stemmed from this need to contribute where I've been an entrepreneur for 12 years and I add so much value to my clients. I add so much value to myself but the C word is starting to bring in abundance and fulfillment for me. So I'm on the journey of, I just want to be mindful. Can you hear me clearly? Cause I've had some internet problems this morning. Yeah. Everyone's good. Awesome. So a little bit about myself. Yes. Yeah, so I'm on the, on the journey of creating a space to allow men to come to a container where they get to explore their relationship with self and also a place to empower men to step up into leadership and also to give leaders in the community an opportunity to give back 
to the community. And it's this beautiful symbolic relationship between people that are elating and people that are willing to receive. But also co-founding of a non-profit organisation as well, which is super exciting um, to really create a space for the unfortunate. And yeah, that's a little bit of myself at the moment and just super grateful to be in this space. Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing about yourself. Now, the first question that I um, wanted to ask you is, you know, what do you find is super important in terms of men's mental health and well-being? I guess for, for this experience, it's just the ability to feel. Just the ability to allow myself to feel. And it's like, today I felt this wave of emotion and I gave myself full, full permission to express that little child that wanted to have a tantrum. And it's like how that resembles in what men need right now. They need a space so they are allowed to explore whatever emotion that moves through them and to have a community and a facility that supports them unconditionally, especially during these times where the role of a male has been stripped down due to COVID. A lot of men have lost their jobs, have lost an outlet for them to, I wouldn't say distract, but for them to connect whatever shape or form that is. It might be a boys night. It might be a barbecue. It might be a golf day. And it's like, what's so, imp what's so important about these circles right now and the emphasis of mental health is all these things have been stripped away for men. And now the, I'm only speaking for men in Australia at the moment, especially in Victoria, because we're still in stage four lockdown. So a lot of the identity, a lot of the rights have been taken away from a lot of humans. So I feel like in Victoria, having a place or a platform that encourages men to one, feel, and giving them themselves full permission to feel all scopes of emotions. Like the emotion of anger, disappointment, frustration, mm. have been so sedated and shamed for such a long period of time. And it's like, how can we create a safe environment to allow men to explore that relationship, to explore their wounding, so therefore when they go back into the community they can create a ripple effect they can touch the souls of one themselves their feminine self but also their relationship and yeah. i feel like during this time it's so important not just the mental aspect but the holistic aspect mm. and that's why i truly believe it's so crucial especially in this time mm. Such a great question. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you for sharing that. And wow, it's it's so true. And I feel like, um, okay, so I, I actually read this online recently that one in eight men are suffering from anxiety or depression and um, suicidal thoughts. So, you know, being able to use this like World Woman Leading Chain platform, which is a group of empowering women to really uplift men. Because, you know, um, I feel like there's this whole thing about, you know, men supporting women and the things that they do. But, you know, it takes both ends, you know, also how can women really support men in their journey in, you know, the most softest and, and loving way and, embracing them and allowing them to really feel into their emotions because men you know have this kind of persona of being you know strong and tough and having to support women which I believe is so so wonderful so powerful but you know I feel like we're entering this new this like different paradigm where men are starting to become so much more softer 
you know, so much more vulnerable and open about, um, about their feelings. So I guess, you know, how is it men that can support men in that, but also with women, like us supporting, you know, our partners or our, our close friends. Um, yeah, so really um, learning how to do that is so important, especially now when there's so much happening in the world. Um, yeah. Okay, so the next question I want to ask you is, is like, how do you feel... Um, women can best support men <laughs> on their personal, um, you know, mental well-being and, and health and everything. Um, what are the top three things that you believe would really support men from your perspective? Such a beautiful share just before, and I'm just letting it move through me. Um, Hmm. I feel like the first one is, as we are always constant mirrors, it's, if we as women, I'm also women, I'm also male, I am the feminine and the masculine, but as a female, how can we, how can we just show up? It's like, it's like if, if you guys are able to show up and build a relationship with your feminine and masculine, and then when we, mm, Hmm. Okay, I'm going to take a different approach. How you can help a wounded man would be hold space. And it's like, as you guys are so in, innate and so in tune with your emotions, and you can see part of ourselves, you can see the little wounded boy, you can see the little wounded Yo, you can see the little child that just wants attention or you want to be, like you guys have that ability to observe these like these things moving through you so what i would invite is the exploration of holding space and it's like not seeing them as a partner not seeing them as they should be a provider or they should be in tune with their emotions but to really step out of that persona and see them as a little kid and see them as an innocent little child that just wants to express himself and to really hold space for that and to allow these unexpressed and unresolved traumas, stories, emotions to be unfolded into the 3D realm. And I feel not I feel like from personal experience when a sister can hold space for a man going through his shit it brings back the feeling of being back in the womb it's like you're stripping away these layers like you see me you feel me there's no more walls there's no more shields it's, this is me and it's like when you're able to create that safe container, free from judgment, free from expectations, and just this bubble of free expression. And I feel like it's an exploration. There's no right or wrong. There's no good or bad. It is just it. And whatever that male is shifting, moving, embodying, allow that, allow it to be. So I feel like that's super powerful. And also allowing him to go on his own journey. I feel like from my experience, a lot of my sisters grew spiritually quite quick. And I was kind of like on behind waiting. I'm like, hey guys, why are you guys involved so quick? But as I guess we are all on our journey, then it's an opportunity to allow them to explore their own journey with the intention of not projecting, conditioning, emotionally triggering. I wouldn't say no, so take that back. Take that emotional triggering back. That's, that's, I'm, that might happen, but like just allow them to walk their own path. And it's like a little kid when you grow up, when you try to like bring up a kid, you're like, no, I don't want you to fall. And I don't want you to make the mistake. 
It's like, no, no, I know where this is going to head. But the beautiful thing about exploration is they get to explore and create their own path. And yeah, and my third one would be what I was trying to touch on from the first point in regards to accountability. When you guys are accountable and showing up for yourselves, then it gives us men permission to allow ourselves to show up how we want to show up. So therefore, we are co-creating a relationship together. We're not dependent on, oh, I need you to fill my cup. I need you to help me be the best version of myself or to, to understand love. We are all accountable for our own self-love and together we coexist together and we share this experience of life together. And as we continue that path, we just reflect and mirror. And it, I feel that's such a beautiful journey to embody wow. and to embark on. Yeah. So that's, that's so beautiful. And from what I heard you, what you said um, to recap is for women but also as as brothers or as fathers to really hold space and i feel like this is just not only for men but just for everyone how is it that we can hold space for one another and by holding space i mean just to really listen to be there with all of your energy and just to embrace the other person in what it is that they are going through because, you know, a lot of the times we're not really seeking um, help or, you know, knowledge. We just want to be felt, heard and seen. That's the most important thing, felt, heard and seen. And you do that by holding space. So um, my invitation for, you know, everyone that's listening with um, the people in your life or people that you meet, it's like, how can you really hold space? for for them it's so it's holding space is one of the most important things um that i've i've discovered in my journey mm. and when you do that you just allow allow the other individual just to be themselves but also to grow and to feel safe that's the main thing i feel um is the most important is feeling safe um yeah so thank you, you Trung, for that i want to ask what are the three things that you would say has supported you or you find it's um like practices that you find that's really good for your mental well-being but also your um your health what are three practices that you do um for your wellness such this is such a crazy question for me <laughs> because for a very long period of time i've read so many books so many podcasts i'm like oh i should be meditating i should be doing cold showers i should be like literally trying to I take all these things and put it into this morning routine and i just want to invite you guys that the exploration part where mm -hmm. for me I can't really tell you what practices or what modalities will bring you to a place of creativity, stillness, openness. But for me personally, the journey was created from following my breadcrumbs of joy. And that led me to like my morning routine now is cold showers and I go outside I ground and then I just sing to my plants I sing to my flowers and I water the garden and it's like if I looked at myself six months ago and go give me the ideal morning routine chungles I would have never thought I would use I would be embodying in singing connecting to the earth and it's like the exploration of what brings you to a place of pure presence? What brings you to a place of the vibration of when you were a child? 
And it's like, just follow that breadcrumb, follow the little hints. And then from there, those are your modalities. Those are your practices. And for me, I've dwelled into, uh, at the moment, I'm in day eight of Joe Dispenza's morning and evening meditation. So I really love creating, getting into the space of nothingness, but everythingness, <laughs> juiciness. So for me, I've built that relationship. And I also love to listen to these meditations before bed as well, all the little fables. And because it really brings up my inner child that mm, I haven't perfect. allowed... I haven't allowed to express for such a long period of time. And it's like, what brings you that spark? Mm. So my invitation for all you guys is explore and just feel and be curious about that little spark that shows up. And it's like, ooh, okay, Mm. let's explore that. (laughs) Beautiful. Thank you so much for highlighting how how and why it's so important to embrace your inner child. I feel like as we grow grow older, we forget. We forget the playfulness. We forget about the creativity, the just doing art, um, doing all the things that we used to do as kids because those, I feel, has truly been the most transformative experiences I've had as of recently as I've embarked on my wellness, mindfulness, health journey. It's really going back to the foundations, to the roots and finding that that joy. And through that joy, you find pure presence. You find um, just so much inspiration and motivation um but also it's just so so good for your mental well-being and your emotional well-being um i feel like you know whatever it is that's quite challenging if i can just go back to just like you said like to singing or to dance or to draw those things really spark joy and i feel like that is like just true wellness Mm, you know wellness i feel like is is such a broad term and if you think about um you know nowadays like you know people would like say you know meditation yoga um you know doing like all these like crazy practices which is so wonderful um but also really remembering to go back and embrace the the more simple things um, which is all the things that I've just said, art, reading, all of that, and explore that because that would really just help you relieve a lot of tension, a lot of anxiety, and it pretty much helps you dissolve all those noisy thoughts that you have in your head. Mm. So, yeah, that's what I would um, encourage. Um, the last thing that I would like to ask you, Trung, is what is the most important thing that you want to share right now in terms of men's, men's health and wellness? Well, so do we have five hours or not? <laughs> well, so what's moving, what's through, moving through me now? What's moving through me when you asked me that question was, I don't know where this came from, but this is what's moving through me. Men, me. And what that means to me is through men, allow them just to be. And it's like, whatever shape that form that is, me. So I'm not sure how that makes sense right now, but mm-hmm. that's, that's what's moving through me. Beautiful. And what's, mm, but yeah, what's the most important thing for, can you repeat the question or maybe reword the question? Um, what is the one thing that you really want to share with um, 
everyone out there that you find is so important, especially during this uh, time of the pandemic, that would really support Okay, so I couldn't catch the oh. Okay, what is the most important <laughs> thing that you would love to share with everyone that you feel is uh, very supportive in, in this time of the pandemic? Maybe like a tip that you would give. Mm. Perfect. Okay. This is something that's really dear in my heart and has really changed my way of living. And it was just incorporating the phrase, wherever emotions move through me, whatever something happens to me, I reframe it to, I get an opportunity to explore my relationship with and I ask myself every time I feel states of emotions, I reframe it. I ask myself that question. Mm. When I, I have an experience that isn't in my favor, I ask myself that question. I get an opportunity to explore my relationship with, and it's like that just reframes and shifts and gets this curiosity the end i don't know it just yeah. allows the stagnant energy to move mm. and it's that's a, such a beautiful thing you can do within yourself and as you do that within yourself it starts rippling in your field beautiful. so that is mm. my message thank you for sharing that and the key word that i got from that is obviously curiosity and curiosity, I feel, is one of the most important things that we, we can and we should. I really invite everyone to really carry curiosity with them throughout their journey because curiosity is, you know, really embracing that inner child with, within us. And if we can approach everything we do with, in life with curiosity, it opens up a world of infinite, infinite possibilities. You know, it's like a kid in the candy store. And when we have, you know, choices, you know, we are able to really explore so much and that, that just alleviates so much um, from us. You know, all the things that we feel like we carry, we can just, like you said, explore it with curiosity. It, it is so, so, so amazing. Um, so thank you for sharing that wonderful point um, of curiosity. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Trung, for sharing your, your experiences and your, your wisdom and just your heart. You know, I feel like it's, very, very rare for someone just to really just open up their heart and their playfulness in the way that you do. Um, a lot of the times conferences are very serious. <laughs> I've been in many and you know, it's very, it's very mind, it's very science, it's very technical. But you know, wellness is, like I said, so broad. Wellness comes in terms of like health, spirituality, um, emotions, everything. So I feel like this, um, this topic allows so much flexibility and so much um, exploration and so much playfulness. Um, so thank you for bringing that energy in here and sharing it with everyone. Hmm. So what um, I am going to do next is a guide everyone through a meditation. Mm, meditation is, I would say, my top favorite thing to do. <laughs> I love meditating and I love creating meditations and I love holding meditations whenever I can. 
Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you um, for being here and for joining me on this meditation journey. So what I would invite everyone to do is to sit in a nice and comfortable position, either sitting up straight with your back nice and elongated, or if you feel cold, you can lay down somewhere nice and comfortable mm. and allow you just, you know, a minute to do so. And when you're in a nice and comfortable position, I invite you to just gently close your eyes. Just gonna turn some music on in the background. You know, allow the next, you know, 15, 20 minutes to be all about you, about tuning into yourself, in your surroundings and if you're with people really just tapping into you know their energies so now that you're nice and comfortable your eyes Gently closed, with your shoulders relaxed, your legs, your arms, your hands, allowing it to completely relax and dissolve. I invite you to just let go. Let go of everything that you're holding on to. Maybe it's some responsibilities, the thoughts running on in your mind. Maybe it's something that you're wanting to let go out in your out of your life right now know that this moment the next 15 minutes is all about you and the present moment you and your body you and your spirit your soul I invite you to just take an inhale through your nose for three, two, one, and exhaling out of your mouth. <sighs> and inhaling again for three, two, one, and exhaling out of your mouth. Ah. Inhaling again for three, two, one, and an audible exhale. Ah. Letting it all go, letting it all go, letting it all go. Just know that in this moment, you are safe. You are safe to express whatever feelings, whatever emotions that comes up. And just do your best to not judge, to not judge yourself from having those thoughts and for having those emotions knowing that everything you feel and everything that you think is completely valid 
and just gently acknowledge all that arises and then letting it pass through your body and just keep focusing on your breath with each inhale feel your chest expand with each exhale feel your chest contract and just notice notice whether your breath is deep and elongated or is it shallow and how can you continue to breathe deeper longer Now, invite you to imagine a small seed in the palm of your hands. With the seed, I want you to whisper an intention. Maybe it's an intention of something that you were wishing to create. Maybe it's an intention of something you're wishing to let go of in your life right now. Maybe you're feeling a lot of anxiety or stress during this time and you know, you don't really want to feel that anymore. Whatever intention it is, I want you to plant it into the seed that you're holding in the palm of your hands. Really just letting that intention sink in. you feel ready, I want you to visualize yourself planting the seed of intention into the earth beneath you. Witnessing yourself digging a little hole and planting the seed. And slowly covering it up, watering this intention, nurturing this intention with love. Day after day, month after month, you're continuing to water this little creation of yours, this intention of yours. And as the days go by, you start to witness the seed growing up, blooming, 
into a beautiful lotus flower. And just feel the stem of the lotus moving up through the soles of your feet to your ankles wrapping around your legs moving up to your hips through your belly and up to your heart and it's within this heart space of yours that you feel it with unconditional love with your essence with your hope and with your joy that whatever it is that you plant into the fertile soil has the ability to grow and blossom into something truly beautiful, truly magnificent, and so divine, like a lotus flower. And if you don't know yet about the symbolic meaning of a lotus flower, a lotus flower is the most highly spiritual flower in the entire universe. The lotus flower is the only flower that has the ability to grow from mud. So it's a representation and a translation that something that is grounded in, in mud, in a shadow, can blossom into something so beautiful. And this is symbolic to us as human beings, as souls. We're riding this journey and sometimes we encounter many challenges many obstacles. We experience pain, agony, distraught, loss, suffering, a broad spectrum of emotions but it is only through all of this that we can really really truly embrace and embody and experience the emotions of happiness and joy it takes great length, takes great depth of experiencing pain to build our capacity to 
to give love, to experience love, to embody love. Knowing that everything that we continue to experience is always bringing us back love, to self-love, to love for humanity, for our family, for our friends, for the planet. Love is truly the highest vibrational frequency. we have. Love is our essence. It's who we really are underneath all of this. We're all sitting here, sharing, connecting, Because we have so much love. We have love for ourselves because we're showing up. We're taking time to be here, to learn, to share. We're showing up because we have love for humanity. We're sharing this space to become better versions of ourselves. And that's the biggest, the best, the truest, most purest blessing of it all is to love so thank you so much to each and every one of you for sharing this space this evening or this morning wherever you are in the world and I continue to encourage and invite you all to continue to show up each and every day despite what you are going through. I hope that you are all able to face it. to grow with it, with courage, with strength, with kindness, and with love. And I want you all to really know that all of this, everything that we are undergoing as individuals and as a collective is bringing us forward into something truly so wonderful and So I really hope that you are able to carry this hope and this strength within you moving forward so we can all co-create a beautiful new earth 
and to be able to weave the path, illuminate the path for others and for the future generations, for our, for our children, for our grandchildren. invite you to now just take a deep breath in with me through your nose and exhaling just letting all the words that I've been saying and all the feelings that you have been experiencing to really just sink in into your body Now I want you to take the next minute just to visualize and feel what it would be like. What is it that you would love to witness for our future? within me peace surrounding me peace from me by thy grace let there be peace by thy grace let there the feeling of peace. Peace surrounding me. Peace from me. By thy grace let there be peace. By thy grace let there be peace. By thy Now, you, when you feel ready, I'd invite you to just pop your hands together in front of your chest. Breathe, allow the feeling of peace to flow through you. Because through, with, through inner peace, 
are we able to move and be and do with clarity? Hmm. May there be peace for all. May there be light to all. And may there be love. And if you feel called, you can follow me and um, together, locking in all the energies and sending that vibration out to the world. Breathing all the way out, taking a breath in. your hands together, rub it, generate the peace, place them in anywhere on your body, your eyes, your heart, your belly, wherever you feel, <sighs> needs that loving energy right now. When you feel ready, and open your eyes. Mm, gently coming back to the space, into your body. Mm. So to close this all off, just want to say thank you. Thank you so, so much to each and every one of you for being here. Thank you for this space and this moment of pure connection. I really felt everyone's energy through that meditation and it's so beautiful. So sending you all so, so much love and gratitude. And thank you so much, um, Isla, for giving me this opportunity, um, this space to share. <laughs> I'm just filled with just so much gratitude. So thank you. Thank you so much for showing up everyone. And I'm looking forward to seeing all your beautiful faces again very soon to share more topics together, to share more wisdom and to share our energies. Um, yeah. <laughs> Is there anything that you would like to share, Isla? Um, yeah, before we close off. Uh, I'm, I'm just amazed by your energy, Neely. And um, I think, you know, a uh, few people asked me a few days ago, like, what are you doing making a program every day? What, what is the uh, monetary game that you're looking? I said, I'm not looking for any monetary game. Uh, but this is a, a tough time, and I think everybody should uh, give up, give their energy, you know, to the world. A lot of people need it, you know. Like uh, we put on live every day. We have 150 conference already. It's for it's nothing that uh, 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 what you call it. Uh, 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 we don't seek for personal gain of ourselves, you know. And I'm grateful so much. Thank you, Neely, and uh, our guest star to, today, and all the people that are here today. 
you are giving so much power to the universe you know and you know there's a reason why we are alive in pandemic time so we 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 spreading the energy you know because many people need it i need it for me it's been a therapy and thank you neely it's a splendid afternoon i'm in the mountain no i i with two beautiful women very positive woman you know so i'm i'm grateful and humbled and honored that you are taking this platform uh for wellness you know and neely your energy is so big you need to spread it <laughs> yes you you know your energy does not belong to you alone it belong to the universe yeah. and i like that when you say that we have to be playful every day <laughs> Yes, uh, maybe anybody who wants to say something, I also recognize all oh, the president, President Rebecca, President Julia Stina, uh, uh, Princess Debbie Deneo, uh, President Lesaho. Uh, you are amazing. You are marching every day towards pandemic. There's not one day you miss. And may God bless you. May the power in you surface and create big, big impact for your surrounding. Love and light from Bogor, Indonesia. Beautiful. Thank you, Allah. President Ayla. Thank you so much, President Jigelela, Princess Ayla. And, and thank you so much for what has been said about meditation. Uh, I always, you know, ref my reference is also from the Bible. In Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, it also says that we should meditate. We should meditate day and night. And meditating day and night, thinking deeply, on focusing on the mind and the word of God. Because that is where we get our powers. That is where we get our inspiration. That is where we, we are being reprimanded on how to love. President Ayla sent us the importance of love today. And I think love is about sharing. Love is about embracing. Love is, by, is, is about talking honestly about each other. And love is also making time, you know, to get that energy that you can be able to share with other people. And thank you so much. You know, I remember even when President Ayla, when he was asking about, you know, leadership. I said, leadership is about being, in, you, you must be curious, inquisitive. Because if ever you are not going to be curious, how are you going to learn? You know, we should be like children, you know, children. Sometimes they don't, they want to learn. And thank you so much. And, you know, taking us back so that we should be able to meditate. I think meditation is part of healing. It's part of, you know, getting more energy. And I thank you so much, so much for really healing us today. And uh, those who are not meditating, go and meditate. Start today again and again. I thank you. I thank you so much. Beautiful. Love and light from Johannesburg, Gauteng, South Africa, in the continent of Africa. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Her Lawyer Highness, Princess Debbie. Thank, thank you. you so much. Wow. <laughs> Your words <laughs> just hit me so deep. And, you know, also again, thank you so much, Trung, for reminding us about the playfulness. Ah, uh, it's just so important, especially now. Everyone's just taking things too seriously. <laughs> um, so inviting the curiosity and the playfulness back into our lives um, is so important. And as always, med meditation. You know, Isla, when you said that, 
you know, this energy is not just mine, but it's the universe's. Like, yes, yes, yes. Because when I am leading meditations, I'm just becoming a channel of energy from up there. Might sound a little bit crazy, but that's exactly what I'm doing. And the energy that I have that I continue to put out is being given to me by something so beyond, you know, this, this reality, this realm. And I feel it in my core. And I feel like that is why I'm here today. This is why we're all here today. Um, because we're all supported by something um, so beyond us. And it's supporting our, our mission, our vision, and our service to, to humanity. Mm, so so thank you thank you all um does anyone else want to share you can just um like a minute if anyone else just please turn on your audio so we can have a chance for everyone to share okay sounds like there's nothing much else to say i would just like to say thank you so much for everything. I feel so calm and relaxed and energized. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your, your voice is so calming and relaxing. Wow. I feel like you have a great meditative voice. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone much love and much gratitude and i hope to see all your beautiful faces and energies um again in two weeks um on this wellness conference um to all learn together and share together and connect mm. much love um yeah and have a good night good morning or good afternoon <laughs> wherever you are mm. see you <laughs> Thank you, Isla. Thank you, Nadia, for being the tech support. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Neely. Love you so much. Love you. Love everyone. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Norma. Thank you. <laughs> I got to the end, but I got the, the bit of it. You know, it was so coming and so nice. But um, thank you so much. I hope I catch you in two weeks' time. Yes, please. I would love to see you yeah. in two weeks. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.